morning, everybody. I will present you our case study, Digital Test Area Autobahn. Um, the Digital Test Area is the project of the project cluster Smart Bridge. And the Smart Bridge is an adaptive system of continuous provision of relevant information and elevation of safety and reliability. Uh, which are the main aspects? The recording of, of the significant effects and reactions in real time, the early detection of changes and problems, and the holistic evaluation of the condition during the useful life and forecast of the construction behavior. What is one aim is the supporting of the maintenance planning in terms of a predictive maintenance planning strategy. What are the uh, uh, main parts of the smart bridge, it's smart technology, a uh, sensor technology here, the development for example of intelligent sen sensors is uh, supported. We have done uh, it for uh, RFID technology which we uh, supported. We have the part smart assessment methods here, the modeling of the bridge, the modeling of deterioration models are um, important and we have the smart maintenance management here, the conjunction <coughs> of the visual um, bridge inspections is put together with data from the bridge database in Germany and the measurements and elevation of the different center systems. The digital test area autobahn is a new built concrete bridge and it's at the highway A9 from Frankfurt <coughs> to Munich. It was built in 2016. It's pre-stressed. You can see it over here. The bridge is in kit with different vendors for the detection of the traffic load, for the climatic influence and the reaction of the components with regard to the functionality of the individual bridge components. The conditions and the reliability of the bridge construction and its com components can be determined by using analytic, uh, analytical bridge models and elevation methods. Here you can see which sensor um, systems are integrated in the bridge. The first one is the instrumented expansion joint. With this, we can uh, detect the impact of the traffic loads. This is possible by using false sensors and the calibration of the bridge after load test. Then we have the self-monitoring of the function. The uh, draw wire gaps are used for uh, the the detection of the joint gap changes and the acceleration sensors are used for um, vibration, to detect the vibration. Then we have the instrumented bearing here, the also the self-monitoring of the function is one aspect and the detection of the static load, the rotation and the displacement. Here we have um, four sensors, uh, uh, no, no. Here we have uh, pressure van sensors which are used for the detection of the static load. We have displacement then sensors. These are used for um, detecting the changes in, uh, in the path and the gap of the uh, bearing and the distance sensors are used for the rotation. Another um, monitoring system is the road traffic management this system. With this system, the impact of the traffic loads are detected, therefore the strain gauges are used. Um, the detection of the, impact, uh, of the impact of traffic loads is here also possible by using um, a calibration during load test. And after the calibration, the aspects, the number of vehicles, the vehicle speed, the axle distance, the dynamic axle load per single axle, and the total weight of the vehicles can be detected. With this system also, the pre-stressing force curve of the external tenants can be detected. And what we also can do is um, the detect the actual fatigue state. This is possible with uh, the different sensors and with data processing and using a model which was being made for um, this bridge. Also what can be done is the detection of the global stiffness. This is also just possible by using the bridge model. 
So another aspect is our center data here, the fusion of data and data elevation and so on. It's just a, in, uh, in different projects which, which is um, focused on the digital test area. What I have here now is the flowchart for the digital test area. Um, here we have the rudimental action from do nothing, uh, retrofitting, maintenance, maintenance, replacement, limit the traffic or uh, clothing of the bridge. We have the indicators, that's what I've said before, impact of traffic load, climatic influence and the structure comp and component reaction is detected. What we have as a set information, it's a new built concrete bridge. We have all the design data. We have all the as built information. We have a, if, uh, uh, a fit finite element model, uh, three dimensional, and we have the existing monitoring data for around about a year of all these sensors that are integrated in the bridge. What's about the knowledge on decision, de maker, uh, uh, decision content? Deci the decision maker is the Federal Ministry of Transport in Germany. Additional stakeholders are the local thought authorities. And what they want is to minimize the life cycle cost and fulfill the functions um, in, in terms of safety, uh, fulfill the functionality and safety. So what then gets to the objectives we have the minimize the operational maintenance and inspection cost, first one. Second, minimize the life cycle, uh, life uh, service cost. Then testing new developed monitoring system just because the instrumented joint and the instrumented bearing are new developments which were first integrated in the bridge at this bridge. And the last as aspect is the marketing of the elements. Um, what we want to do is um, to find some components for a smart bridge that we can sell to the um, uh, decision maker so that they uh, can put it into their bridge, so some kind of marketing. This leads to the optimization function. We have um, um, uh, the uh, life cycle cost um, for the minimize the operational maintenance and inspection cost and maximize the life service. We have uh, prototype develop and test, uh, development and testing for the objective uh, three. For objective four, I don't have anything. So collect information. Um, here, um, uh, this is a new bridge we started just with uh, the measuring a lot of um, different aspects. So. Now, no additional measurements are planned. We don't have any problems, so this is not necessary. And uh, what about the performance? Um, monitoring of the impact for the structure is one aspect. The monitoring of the reaction of the bridge <coughs> and uh, the derivation of the reliability index is just another aspect. Here's the Facebook post, which I will send to uh, the working group six, they can post that. Uh, how should you organize? Uh, if, they, if you can send it to me and... Uh, yeah, I, 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 I will do I this. There is a, you took a picture, no? Of the, of the our address. Yes, 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 I will yes, send it. And then uh, go forward. Yeah. This would okay. be the yeah, easiest so way. So no, okay. So. What I want to say is, yesterday we talked about it, um, how to work on in the future. I think we have to concentrate on only one monitoring system. We choose, I think we choose the road traffic management system. The problem is that we in our institution don't have the knowledge and the time and the money to do the value of information of our own. And so we came on that perhaps Helda can get some um, data and he tries to do something like that but we have to clarify how can the data be transferred is it possible how can it uh, can it be done it's not possible just to load it up in a in a cloud i have to talk to yeah. <coughs> find a way how to can yes yeah. okay okay so yes okay.
question. Yes. But what would then be the scenario, or what would be the event that leads to consequences? Did you discuss about no. failure? That rotation? We have a brief discussion yeah, also with Alan about, uh, if you remember about this, uh, Anne Maria, when we were discussing about yes, the prior the, the and posterior distribution by yeah. driving extreme loads from the wing system that I have, so it's possible. Uh, so it would be the ultimate limit state? Yes. Yeah. For the then, you so we have then you have a prior model of the ultimate limit state from the design? Yes, from the codes, and then you can update it based on the data and get the posterior. But then, 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 nice but then you presume some net rotation because when you design a bridge as new, the ruler yes. means you should be okay normally. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then when you get more information, then you could actually. Uh, well, you can consider the age of the concrete in time so because it's from the lifetime of 100 years. So you yeah. can expect that the concrete will be a bit about the about 100 years. So there's a degradation model for the. So then, then, you, the then you measure something that has to do with the degradation. Discuss what is the available information that they have in that domain. So, for example, th this we didn't discuss, but <coughs> for this bridge, did you follow the construction of the bridge or just installing the system after the construction? No, no, do you mean information about uh, uh, the, the construction? So yeah, I think everything is there. Okay. Everything. So, uh, <coughs> no, I, I think. Uh, it, it's, it's very good uh, that you uh, have uh, this data and uh, are able to, to share. Uh, we have a network project, uh, so it, uh, I think we, uh, if you agree, we can make this even more open, um, if <laughs> it's possible. Yeah, uh, yes, uh, clearly the uh, data and yeah. Uh, sharing must be clean. Yes, uh, that's, 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 I think this is the problem. Yes, 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 okay, but fine. Uh, we, uh, there will be somehow a solution. What is missing is a clear decision scenario. This is uh, what we just uh, found out. Um, and I would like to see the uh, objective, uh, the objectives again. So, this uh, is costs. It was not that uh, easy for <coughs> me to do this. Uh, no, I uh, just um, uh, after some uh, maximized service life. Okay, newly developed monitoring systems. Yeah. I think but we can leave okay. this out, yeah. but yeah. for this, perhaps we can. The point here is uh, the. Uh, um, <coughs> the uh, I think this is a very. Um, important uh, point when we are uh, after minimizing costs and we do SHM and uh, we can have a prior and we can update this prior and we have an ultimate failure event uh, then we have risks so we have expected costs we have probability times uh, the uh, failure mm -hmm. event and uh, this is not necessarily included here. So uh, we need a clear decision scenario where we also address the objectives. Um, I think this is very important. Uh, we also yeah, but, but we could and also yeah. ask from the other direction. So normally decisions are made based on some ratio, ratio right? A ratio now. And now you decided to uh, install all this instrumentation. Costs a lot of money. Oh yeah. Why did you do it? <coughs> I just asked, uh, of course. Uh, to, to <coughs> the smart bridge is a project last, yeah. and we want to uh, bring it into the bridges in Germany. But before we can say this and this components are relevant for a smart bridge, we have to test what is there on the market and what can be used. So we took several systems, put it in there, just test it against each other, which works good, which works not that good. And so in future we can have a bridge with only one of these uh, sensor systems. So, so and then what is the criteria uh, where you judge whether this is good or bad measurements? This is, not, um, this is not my project, so yeah. I don't know what their um, decided before if, if the aim would be just find out one good system I don't think so I think uh, because that, that would be interesting to find out the utility 
Yeah, yes, function, and what, what yeah. was, and then, then we could, or, or maybe also formulate an entirely non-structural utility, right? And then we could yeah, yeah. judge what are these, because, because no, normally implicitly you would, you would think that, uh, of course, the people that signed that all this should be, I think uh, <coughs> should be invested in, uh, they had some reason for it. So therefore, there should be some value of information implicitly. Yes, we want now ex explicitly yeah. show it, right? Yes, it's, uh, I think this is the uh, step to take here, mm. uh, maybe step by step. Uh, I think it's a very good uh, flowchart, um, and uh, but again, we, we, you need to uh, yeah. carefully think and, and f find a good uh, decision scenario uh, so that we can, uh, for instance, address the uh, maintenance and inspection costs. Uh, so here I, you yes. may have uh, <coughs> a prior deterioration model, and uh, you have your prior uh, inspection intervals. Um, if you allow for, that's another step, uh, reliability-based inspection planning, uh, then uh, you would see that um, SHM may have an influence on the, uh, on, on the inspection and maintenance costs. Uh, yeah. So uh, we, uh, we are very happy. Uh, with, uh, I think it's too much information, too much system, which are I try to involve in this one flow oh. chart. Yeah, no, th th this is this is fine. No, no, it, it's it's fine. It's uh, just that we need to condense. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, need to recognize. But there's some work uh, really required. We need to recognize uh, what exactly fits together. Yeah. and how uh, we can. Uh, make something out of it. Uh, it could be risk reduction, it could be here cost reduction, uh, it could be service life extension. Uh, exactly. We can set up these decision scenarios, but we need to carefully connect yes. uh, what data are go in here and what there and so, yeah. Just, just a remark, because it was what you mentioned yesterday, was about also the <coughs> to better understand what is, if there is a life extension with this system. So if you know better the loads, you might yeah. understand better if in fact these 100 years of service life are extrapolating these traffic loads. We are fulfilling this, what is the required mm. we are more, If we have more, because I know that, for example, traffic load models, uh, but using the codes, they have the same for all countries. So, it's yeah, you could, you could so with this site specific, you can understand much better what is for these conditions, the traffic conditions. Understand yeah, we have to think maybe a little bit out of the box. Yeah. Could be also an updating of the general traffic model. Exactly. No, yeah, exactly. That has then an impact on exactly. all decisions in, yeah. the, in, the, that in the method. So I think it's the most valuable output that you can extract from the traffic system it's to characterize yeah. Yeah. the in-situ traffic for that specific person. Mm. And, and uh, the first step. It's, it's about uh, this bridge and this decision scenario. And uh, I think uh, here we also need to carefully communicate uh, what is the intention of the project uh, you have been setting up mm. and how can we contribute with our decision scenario to the objectives of the project you are having. So I think this is also uh, what we need to uh, so communicate. I I will future. look for a um, paper where they said why we're doing this and this in this bridge. This is a bridge where also automatically driving and everything else is tested. It's just an, an, an area where in Germany all new in, uh, developments are tested. And so there's much money, there was much money to just try something out in this bridge. Mm. You have the money to test yeah. what you like. Yes, it's the, and the, it's the technical testing. Uh, this is what you what you basically have covered. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, what would be the most uh, interesting thing we could contribute yeah. uh, to in, in this regard? And maybe it's uh, even the best to uh, arrange a meeting uh, on, on that. Yeah. Um, could be Skype or another opportunity. Uh, because we, uh, I, it looks like uh, that we have to think and to brainstorm yeah. About it, it will not yeah. be there. Right? I, I yeah. think maybe we, when then find out that this is really a super example, 
Ja, so it's not, 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 not negative at all. No, 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 I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the problem. When we dig a little bit, we find yeah. something really cool, yeah. um, good, a good example. So, yeah. Okay. It would be the best, the best thing. Yeah. With Mr. Hart just talking about yeah. it, he was really involved in this project yeah, yeah. since it started. Yeah. I just working on it for one year, so he mm. has more yeah. background information, so perhaps yeah. we can find a good way to, yeah. to work on it. Yeah. Can I just ask you qu quickly, yes. um, in, in the indicators which you're showing, y you highlight on your performance the derivation of the reliability, reliability index, but maybe that should go in as an indicator as well, because that can be your indicator for serviceability limit state, ultimate limit state, or fatigue limit state. Yeah. I think that that should appear higher. Okay. Because that's yeah, the th th that, that's an impact, an indicator which you will, will be measured. It's an indicator which you can calculate, which then facilitates yeah. you to make a decision on what instrumentation you might use in the context of the serviceability limit state or the fatigue limit state or the ultimate limit state. Yeah. What, what instrumentation you might put in place. Yeah, but uh, as, I, as I said, we, we need to have uh, some doubts, right? So when we have just the ultimate limit state from the new pitch, which, is, which gives a very, very low yeah. uh, risk. Yeah, uh, that makes the demand on the uh, uh, or the demand on the accuracy of the measurement device very high. Yes, because we are testing a very yeah. low probability. So exactly. Yeah. So we need some doubts and we need some uh, uh, low reliability. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. And particularly for 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 existing bridges, if we're looking at instrumenting those and strategies. Yeah. Those. But that's why I think it should go in under the indicators because the indicator for the client is going to be uh, that, that what we pre what we present to the client is. You have a low uh, beta value in the in the torsion limit state, dislocation on the structure, and therefore this is where we need to focus yeah. instrumentation. Yeah. Yeah. So we conclude that we will have a Skype meeting. Yes, we should go on uh, in, uh, in this way. Yeah. Yeah. Skype our personal meeting. Okay. okay.